name is Tapua Saondo and I'm working as a prototype engineer on the engineering field testing platform here in Durban and it's under the pollution research group at UKZN. Here at this informal settlement we are field testing sanitation systems that were designed in other u universities and research institutes and seeing how they would work in a real field setting. Here at Tandanani we are testing the UE system. It was designed at, by University of West England. Um, it is a system that main objective is to produce electricity from urine using microbial fuel cells. And then we're also testing its ability to treat the urine. That's on a separate system in the lab. So we have two systems, one here and one in the lab at UKZN. The system is here at Tandanani behind a mail cab. We are taking urine from the urinals in the mail cab, so it's just concentrated urine, no water, no feces. The system is connected to lights that are in the cab. So there are lights with sensors. When someone walks in, they are programmed to switch on for about five minutes. If they do not detect any movement after that, then they switch off. They're also programmed to only run between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. because during this time, the cabs themselves have no lights and it gets dark, so it's like we're producing lights using their own urine. I think the system can be implemented on a wild, wider scale. It has been tested in Uganda at a uh, girls high school, if I remember correctly, and they've also been, they've been generating electricity from the urine, so it definitely can be yeah, used to produce electricity. Yeah. Um, so this system is important in terms of addressing sanitation challenges that are happening now. Why? Because one of the main points is energy reuse, right? Energy resource. And this is, that's exactly what this system does. So it's producing energy from what would be waste. And at the same time, because it is feeding on organic load in the urine, it is partly treating the urine. So you have both energy being being energy resource and you have treatment of the urine, which is a plus. And I think that's important for whatever sanitation solutions that are coming up for this to be used. This is something that can be used in, in African countries, like now where we're having issues with energy, with electricity. This is another way that it can be done. Further research can go into it, into making, into optimizing its use and its implementation in different communities or settings. But that cannot be done if the governments themselves, which are responsible for the people, do not put in effort and actually make proper conscious decisions and structures to help it take place. Mm -hmm.